In this video I'll teach you how I made this awesome presentation that went viral on TikTok. I'm using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365 as we'll be using the Morph transition. Now the first thing that we'll do is that we'll add a gradient field to our background. So just right click on the slide and click on format background and here you can select a gradient field. And basically we'll have three shades of gray for this background and for the last one we'll leave it as white for now and in the description box of this video I'll also add the image that we're gonna use otherwise this tutorial would be very very long and I'll also link a video where I show you how to remove the background for your images in case you want to replicate it with a different image so now that we've placed our image, I'll replace the white color of our gradient and this time I'll pick the color of the sand from this image. And all of this that we're doing, it's gonna make a little bit more sense later on with all the transitions. This will essentially be our sky, so you can also play around with the colors. And once you're happy with it, just place your image in the middle of the slide, go to picture format and click on crop and just align the handles so they match the width of the slide. Now let's go to insert text box and we're gonna start writing our text. So for this one, I'm gonna use the font Beavis New. I'll change the color to white and I'll just make it larger using this button right here. And then I'll just center align it. And if you want to make sure that everything is centered, just go to shape format, align and align to center then you can duplicate the text holding control on your keyboard and dragging the text down. And for this one, I'm gonna change the color to like a sand color from the pyramid and then right click on the image and click on bring to front. So now the text is behind our image. Now we'll duplicate the slide with control D two times. And now let's go to the first one, select the text and let's move it down using the arrows from your keyboard. So now it will be hidden behind our pyramids. Now go to the third slide and repeat the process, but this time move it even further down and we're gonna bring down the pyramids as well. So now if we select all of the slides holding shift on your keyboard, and if you go to transitions and click on morph, you'll see that now the text floats up behind our pyramids and then it goes down with the pyramids as well. Now I'm just gonna copy the text from our second slide and I'm gonna put it right here in our third slide and I'm just gonna use it to write the names of the pyramids. I also changed their color to that same sand color that we had in our previous slide. And if you want to change the line spacing, just click on line spacing options, change from single to multiple and write 0 0.8. And now I'm gonna pick a line from the shapes panel and holding shift, I'm just gonna drag it up. So we have a perfectly straight line. So I'll just align everything, change the color to white. And now it's just very easy to duplicate it and put it under our other texts. So now just make sure that everything's aligned and then select everything and group it with Ctrl G and let's add an animation. So go to animations and click on float in. And now we'll just change the start to with previous and also reduce the animation to 0.50. So now if you click on the animation pane and click on play all, you'll see the animation, which is looking really, really cool. All right, so let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and now let's get rid of the animation on this slide. So right click on the item and click on remove and then we're gonna bring it up outside of the slide. And we're also gonna bring these pyramids up. And that's when the gradient comes in handy because otherwise we would have an empty space at the bottom. So then right click on the image, click on format picture. Let's go to the image panel and we're gonna turn this image into a nighttime image. So decrease the temperature here until it gets like this bluish hue to it. 
and then go to picture corrections, decrease the brightness and increase the contrast. Now, of course, we need to edit the background gradient. So here we're going to change the colors. And for this one right here, let's pick the color of the sand from the nighttime image that we just created and also make the other shades darker. For the one in the middle, I'm actually going to change it to a dark blue. So we get kind of like a nighttime glow to it. You can start playing with the colors and with the brightness and contrast of the image. If you want to make it even darker and have like this more dramatic effect. And once you're happy with it, let's insert the rounded rectangle. So I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to round less the corners with the yellow dot. And for this one, I'm going to pick the color white for now. And let's add a gradient to the outline. So I'll pick a diagonal gradient. And for the handle on the left, I'm going to change it to the sand color. And for the one on the right, I'm going to change it to that sand color as well. And for the ones in the middle, just increase the transparency to 100%. Let's go back to the transparency field and increase the transparency. And let's also increase the width of the stroke from this panel right here. So now you can double click on the shape to add your text. Here I'm just going to make it smaller and I'm going to make it bold as well. And I'm going to pick a different font. And for this one, I'm going to use this one right here called Grand View. Hold Ctrl on your keyboard and drag it to the right two times to duplicate. And then you can just select everything and center it within the slide. If you feel like the text is not contrasting enough, you can just change the color to black and decrease the transparency a little bit. And once you're happy with these rectangles, just select them and copy with Ctrl C and paste them into the previous slide and let's drag them down outside of the slide. Let's make sure that Morph is activated and that will give us this amazing transition. So let's move on to our final slide. Duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And for this one, let's select our rectangles and drag them down outside of the slide. And let's do the exact same thing with our image. And now I found this image on Google, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it into this slide, which I think it looks amazing. So let's go to picture format, click on crop, drag the handles all the way to the edges of the slide and click on fill. And now the last thing that we need to do is to right click on the image, send to back, copy the image, go back to the previous slide, paste it. Let's drag it to the right outside of the slide and then right click on it and send to back. And that's it guys. That's how I made this awesome, awesome presentation that went viral on TikTok. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LuRutiaPPT and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials every week. I'll leave all of the assets and templates in the description box of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.